Hey guys, I wanted to explain to you today how a QAP diagram works. This is a very precise way of identifying igneous rocks, more precise than what we've learned just by taking up a sample and looking at it. Q stands for quartz, A stands for alkali feldspar, as in that famous K feldspar or orthoclase, that pretty pinkish salmon colored mineral, lots of potassium, but might have some sodium and then P for plagioclase feldspar, where we might have some sodium, but we're also almost assuredly gonna have a lot of calcium in it. Plagioclase can have calcium, it can never have potassium. Alkali can have potassium, it can never have calcium. So here we can see the plutonic rock types. Here, this is a very official version of what it means to be a granite. We've got these numbers here, but this diagram is uh, a little confusing at first, so I want to help you to see how we arrange this. Notice Q stands for quartz, A for alkali feldspar, P for plagioclase. Nice and simple so far. The numbers only tell us the percent quartz or percent plagioclase. They tell us nothing directly about alkali feldspar. So let's take a second. That line right there. Hopefully you're going, hmm, 60% quartz, and you'd be correct. Now, this line right here, if you take a second, you might go, well, that's 65% plagioclase, but 60% plus 65% is too much. How can that be? Well, this is the percent plagioclase of the total feldspar. So if this line tells us it's 60% quartz, 100 minus 60 means roughly 40% of the remaining minerals are feldspar. So this 65 is 65% of this 40%. So that's a very important piece here. These numbers of percent plagioclase are the total feldspar. So let's figure this out. If 40% of the remaining minerals are feldspar, well, 40 times 0.65, 65% is just a number. That equals 26% plagioclase. So we could then also go, oh, okay, well, if 65% of the total feldspar is plagioclase, that means 35% of the total feldspar is the, going to be alkali. So 40 times 0.35, 14% alkali feldspar. And if you add these numbers up, 60% quartz, 26% plagioclase, 14% alkali, you get 100%. So that point right there would be these numbers here. Hope that helped to figure out how to read a QAP diagram. Hey, that's a crazy way to arrange the rocks. You should try that.